my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 376 in this lecture we will try to understand polynomial kernel since we talk so highly about kernelization idea let's look at one of the most simple kernel called polynomial kernel i have bunch of points here the two concentric circle case i have bunch of positive points they are they are surrounded by bunch of negative points let's see how kernelization solve this problem polynomial kernel is given two data points x1 and x2 the general polynomial kernel what is general polynomial kernel k of x1 comma x2 equal to x1 transpose x2 plus c whole power t where c and d are constants let's take a simple example what is this this is polynomial kernel d can be anything d can be 3 d can be 4 or anything simple example of a quadratic kernel k of x1 comma x2 equal to 1 plus x1 whole trans x1 whole transpose into x2 whole square this is called quadratic kernel what is this kernel this is called quadratic kernel or polynomial kernel with d equal to 2 and c equal to 1 now we will see why this is useful what is k of x1 comma x2 my k of x1 comma x2 is what is my k of x1 x2 1 plus just see 1 plus x1 transpose x2 whole square let me assume what is my x1 x1 is let's let's assume x1 is a vector of two points that is 2d the first what is x1 x11 is first component x12 second component this first subscript indicate point second subscript indicate dimension this is first point first dimension first point second dimension in similar manner there is another vector x2 vector this is first dimension indicates what is second vector first uh, second subscript first dimension second vector second dimension how many vectors do we have here we have x1 is a vector in 2d x1 comma x2 they are vectors in 2d they are two dimensional vectors isn't it what we have to find 1 plus x1 transpose x2 x1 transpose x2 is uh, simple you will get x11 x21 plus x12 x22 just take square this is simply a plus b plus c whole square just apply a plus b plus c whole square formula you will get this particular expression isn't it now i can rewrite this particular expression like this 1 x1 just here which one i am keeping i am keeping first point just see first subscript 1 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 first therefore let me treat it as x1 dash in similar manner what is here first subscript 2 2 2 2 2 to isn't it let me say this is x2 dash now what's happening here i have in x1 have 2d it's a 2d but x1 dash 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 d means your x1 is converted into x1 dash where x1 di x1 dash dimension is 6 dimensional I, I, is it not now how can i write this one this one this entire part i can write it as this is x1 point x1 dash x1 dash transpose into x2 dash so that i will get this this entire expression this, this let me say this is x1 dash this is x2 dash x1 dash transpose into x2 dash means i will get this particular expression isn't it look at our original points our original points this is x11 x12 and x21 x22 are in 2d x1 comma x2 these two points are in 2d now from x1 observe x1 dash this is my x1 what about my x1 dash you have only trans you you have only transformation of x1 similarly for x2 dash you have only transformation of x2 x2 dash is transformation of x2 x1 dash is transformation of x1 imagine imagine let me say like this imagine if i am given x1 and x2 here let me say this is x1 
and x2 isn't it x1 and x2 kernelization is feature transformation kernelization takes data in d dimension kernelization takes data in d dimensions and it does a feature transform internally it does feature transform internally after transforming features internally the d dimensional data will be converted into d dimension d dash dimensions such that d dash is greater than d here x1 dimension is 2 but x1 dash dimension is 6 similarly x2 di x2 dimension is 2d where x2 dash dimension is 60 2d data is converted into 60 kernelization kernelization taking data in d dimensional space and implicitly internally it is doing a feature transformation to a space d dash such that d dash is greater than d just see this first point what it says what is your x1 dash this is my x1 dash isn't it x1 dash isn't it x1 dash has square square terms right isn't it now this is this is as i told you it is a six dimensional space we went from 2d data to we went from 2d data to 6d data using kernel tick kernel trick in the 6d data since you have the quadratic form the data will be separated there, there is there is a nice theorem called mercer's theorem this theorem is one of the important theorem with respect to kernels there is a nice theorem called mercer's theorem what it says what mercer's theorem says kernel trick or kernelization basically taking data from d dimensional space and converting into higher dimensional space d dash typically d dash is greater than d but using the right kernel this this is in the case of d dimension data may not be not linearly separable whereas in d dash dimension it is linearly separable but using the right kernel that is important isn't it data becomes linearly separable in d dash this is this is what mercer's theorem says but uh, we will try to understand mercer's theorem with uh, all conditions in future classes in detail manner time being just try to intuition of this particular theorem kernelization does implicit feature transformation but challenge here what is the right kernel to apply isn't it for example you have data for this uh, data set i know polynomial kernel of degree 2 is the right kernel is isn't it svms essentially are all about finding the right kernel for the right problem just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty please keep keep comment thank you very much